आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस सी दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन एज अ ट्रस्ट फंड हैज रुपीस थर्टी थाउजेंड डेट मस्ट बी इन्वेस्टेड इनटू टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बॉन्ड्स द फर्स्ट बॉन्ड पेज फाइव परसेंट इंटरेस्ट पर ईयर एंड द सेकेंड बॉन्ड पेज रुपीज सेवन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट पर ईयर ओके दीज आर द डिफरेंट इंटरेस्ट गिवन एंड बाय यूजिंग मैट्रिक्स मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी हैव टू डिटरमाइन how to divide rupees 30000 among two types of bonds if the trust fund must of fund must obtain an annual total interest of rupees 1800 and the b part is rupees 2000 so first let us do the do for the first part that is when the total interest is of rupees 1800 okay we know a formula of interest is equals to principal into rate of interest principal value into rate of interest upon 100 this is our formula okay but here we can see that the principal total amount is 30000 but there are two different types of interest like for the first bond our interest given is 5% and the amount i am considering as x okay and for the second bond it the interest given as rate of interest not interest i will write it as rate of interest okay as you'll find interest so this is rate of interest is given as 7% and amount will be as total is 30000 and if x amount is for first bond then for the second bond it will be 30000 minus x so what we will do is and total amount that interest should be of is of rupees 1800 so we have to consider both of these bonds so we will take the help of matrix multiplication okay so what we will write over here is this will be x uh, let me write it again okay this will be a matrix we have to multiply this right so x and this will be 30000 minus x okay and this will be for x uh, the amount is the rate of interest is 5 upon 100 right and for 30000 minus x it is 7 upon 100 right so product of these two we can see that if i uh, have i'm just writing it in the form of matrix multiplication but actually what i am doing is i am adding both of these like when i multiply this matrix i will get the same thing as we get when by adding okay actually we are adding this okay we are adding uh, the amount of first and the second bond okay so this is equals to 1800 rupees right so we will now do matrix multiplication so what we will get is 5x upon 100 plus 7 upon 100 into 30000 minus x and the total amount will come out to be as 1800 rupees right so now let us do this question further so this will be 5x upon 100 plus 7 into 30 that is 21 okay 7 to 3 7 to 3 is 21 21 and 4 zeros upon 100 minus 7x upon 100 is equals to 1800 okay so now let us see what we can cancel this two zeros and this two zeros will get cancel and this will be minus 2x upon 100 plus 2100 is equals to 1800 so this will come out to be as 2100 minus 1800 is equals to 2x upon 100 so this will come out to be as 300 in 200 upon 2 is equals to x that is x is equals to 15000 okay therefore we can say that the amount with first bond will be is equals to rupees 15000 and with the second bond will be 30000 minus x 
that is again rupees 15,000 only. Okay. Now, let us do the second part of this question. What it is given is that now the trust fund obtained as an annual total interest is rupees 2,000. Okay. And the bonds are same. Just this value is different. This is 2,000 and rest are multiplication matrix will be same. So, what we will do is we will just write this matrix again. Okay. So, this is x. 30,000 minus x and here it will be 5 upon 100 and 7 upon 100 is equals to 2000 rupees. Okay. So, now let us again do the matrix multiplication. So, what we will get is 5x upon 100. Okay. I am multiplying like this plus 7 upon 100 into 30,000 minus x is equal to 2000 okay so let us simplify 5x upon 100 minus 7x upon 100 plus 2100 okay as we have done this calculation before also 7 to 3 is 21 and this two zeros will get cancelled is equals to 2000 okay so now let us use further so 2100 minus 2000 is equals to 2x upon 100. So, this will come out to be as 100 into 100 upon 2 is equals to x, right? So, 250 is a 100. So, our x is equal to, what are, is x coming? x is coming as 5000 rupees. So, the first bond will be having the amount of rupees 5000 and the second bond will be having the amount of rupees 30,000 minus 5,000 that is rupees 25,000. So, like this we will divide if we want a total interest as 2,000 and if we want total interest as rupees 1,800, we will divide them equally as 15,000, 15,000. Okay, thank you. Class 6 to 12 sale ke need IIT JE means or advanced ke level tak. 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa. Aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400 400 400 par.